It's a cadence. It's like uh, can't even last night. Like it was a cadence. 
listening to a song and it came up for a cadence I would use for the song and I was like let me do the cadence and I was like not, it's not only a cadence but it's a beat and so I, I'm you know it's like all right look kind of here.
So at least I know now I have it on tape. So I got it and I can let a producer hear it, see if he can make something. And then I can start thinking about what instruments, like for like the repetitive part, the whole thing is like one kind of, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really switch it up. It was one pattern for the most part. Um, for those, since it's one pattern and it keeps repeating the whole time, I want them to be using different instruments for different ones because it's the same thing. So just switch up an instrument, man. Like all kinds of stuff, man. Like cash register, um, bag of change, jingling kind of thing. Like anything that stretches out. Like you put that in every instrument you can, then you put the other one in every instrument you can too, like piano, guitar, and then and like that part is really like guitar, you know what I'm saying, saxophone, uh, electric guitar, bro, like if you could do, you know what I'm saying, like that's, that's like guitar riff, so now it's like, it's, at that point, you're not even, fuck hip hop, fuck rap, fuck that, that's the newest form of music. It's 40 years old. It's the newest form of music. So we're about due for another form of music. We need another new genre. It has nothing to do with rap. We need to do something else now. It's been 40 fucking years, man. Can somebody make a new genre of music? Because it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to do the genre of music that everyone else is doing? Or do you want to make your own fucking genre? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm making beats that are like alternative, you know, don't even have to be a rapper. A rapper could definitely use those beats though, but because it was just a cadence because I'm working on cadences because I'm going to get back into my poetry, right? So I was like, let me add cadences to it. because. My poems would just be my emotion, my feeling on the paper. So it would be no melody or anything to it. It was just, this is how I feel. There was no cadence. So it's like, before I tell you how I feel, I should come up with a rhythm on how I'm going to talk, basically, before I say how I feel. Because once I say it, if that's how it is, and then I got to add a melody to that. And that's easy for someone who is good at that. But that's the challenge for me. So I would have to take the opposite route and create the cadence first and internalize it. So it's like, mm, I don't know why you don't like me, but I don't give one good mother. I just don't know why you not laughing, but why should I got you a guest? You don't want to fucking test me. Uzi's in daylight, like the secret service, like my nigga Wesley running from the I don't think you know who you play with. You don't think I'm going to make it. Then God, then you're not in charge. Charles in charge is your favorite show, bro. You don't know nothing about that yellow. You don't think I saw you cracking jokes. I got you, nigga, smacked in. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I got the cadence now. And you know what I'm saying? I was trying to put dry words to a melody, and that's a dummy mission for me, personally. 
or a natural musician, that's just life. But, or maybe the musician sees it like this and they have a cadence first. I know how I feel. I know what I want to reveal. But I do not know the cadence of the flow. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, instead of trying to uh, put your words to a beat that's already made, make your own cadence, man, literally like I just did, and then do your song over it. And that will stand until you get your vocals for the beat made itself. And then you re-record it in a real beat in your cadence. Like that's your beat. Like it's your beat. It's like, it's like, and if I keep doing this, because I took it on for emotional purposes. It was like this, it was like, it was like, it's not about the words. It's about like the emotion. And it's like, when someone's listening to it, and before they listen to it, they were about to go crazy. Can what they listen to help them? You know what I'm saying? Can listening to that help them? You know? Um, so it was just like, that cadence gave me like a, mm, you talking about but who am I to be assuming like bro like bro like that just makes you feel better like that cadence it makes you feel it makes me feel incredibly better so it's just try that it's like Sounds like it's a new sway spiritual. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. And uh, so that's helping out a lot because I'm able to get back into my poetry and then, like, advance it to as close to music as it's ever come before. Because that's always been my biggest challenge as an artist. It was just the fact that, like, I'm not a musician, and I'm not like a physical artist, actual physical, using the hand, a hand-drawn artist. I'm not one of those artists. Like, that's an artist, like the painter, the painter. You know what I'm saying? Painting and music, the two things I, I wish I could do. So the painting, I'm going to explore that. I just never have, but I've always wanted to. I just want to paint. Damn right. I just want to fucking paint, bro. Just, I had to spliff. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, real talk, just like, just staring at the canvas, like, what am I going to say? Like, my paintings are going to be wild, bro. Like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just certain things, you know? Um, But I woke up in a good space this morning. I uh, went to sleep last night, like one, two in the morning. It was like, you know, it was rough. It was rough. Yeah, it was rough. It's rough right now because I'm I'm making a documentary about my personal trauma. So just bathing in my own deepest sorrows. Oof. So and just seeing how how over it I I am. Am I over it? How much is it really affecting me? It's affecting me a lot. It's affecting me a lot. You know? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like the whole journey, right? Like, you know, everyone would slowly start to like, treat you like a failure, your whole journey. And then when it, Oh, it starts to come together for you. Your main uh, objective, your main objective, like your prerogative, what you want to do, your main objective is to
Well, at least from my perspective, because, you know, you might want to do it different, but what do you do after it? You know, you make it, right? Like, what do you do? They were wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's like, You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like 30 years ahead of my generation. So I'm really just chilling and working on myself. Like I had a lot of catastrophic blows to my self-esteem. So I had to work on that, honestly. I had to put in a lot of work for myself and everything else suffered. And I was just consumed by the art, which was my therapy for what happened. So I was aware that something really messed up did happen. And that was my therapy. It was like, that was my therapy. Art is my therapy. Those are my therapy sessions. It was like, I'm just gonna go on tape. And, you know what I'm saying? Keep a log, of, you know, and like really be able to psychoanalyze myself. Like give myself a a collection of data to psychoanalyze. Easy, you know what I'm saying? It's easily psychoanalyzing myself if I listen back to the stuff. And I'm like, then I'm able to like really just, you know, really listen to me in the moment going through my feelings in the moment. You know? Um, it's like, it's like being in a good space. You know, it's like the, like the other side of the coin is still, uh, Uh, sadness like it will never go away but I'm in really good spirits about it like I'm at peace with the fact that it would never go away so it's not something that should surprise me like from its perspective, the per the perspective of depression itself. What is this nigga surprised about? Oh, I'm back. Oh, it's you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how we treat our depression. Like, oh, it's you. Like, and that's how they look at us. Like, like, oh, you surprised? Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> he thought I would still be here. <laughs> Where am I going, buddy? You know, I'm your skeleton. The kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like depression is your best friend. It never leaves you. It is always there for you, ready to tear you down at any second until the point where you're laughing. That's all it wants to do is to get you so sad you just start to laugh and just say fuck it. You feel me? Sometimes you just gotta plummet all the way down to the bottom to realize there's a such thing as a giggle. Like, for real. Like, you, you never feel that way? Like, they were just pulling me down to this point the way I would find this funny. You know what I'm saying? It's more like a life just wants to know, are you laughing now? And then they're going to send you whatever they need to send you until you just start laughing. And, and then when you start laughing, then whatever they send you, you just keep laughing, you know, from there. It's like, that's all they wanted. That's all they wanted was for you to have a better perspective, you know? So,
No. Oh, mother. No. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Like, I'm gonna have to like keep. This is like I said. This is the first uh, segment of this. It's a cadence, and it could also be a beat. So, at the beat part, I have to make more tracks so I can do the other stuff that's going on in my head. But at first, you're just doing one track at a time, and it, this would be cool. Like, you'll be seeing the birth of me as a producer. Like, actually. At this point, I won't even have to put it together. I'm putting it together right now. I just take my ideas to a producer, and then I'm his best friend at that point. Once he realizes like what my head is capable of pulling out, he's going to want to know how, how many times I can do that in a day, basically. At that point, you start to wonder, okay, if that's what he can do, period, how often can he do it? How long does it, what's this turnaround time? There we go, turnaround time. You know what I'm saying? My turnaround time now is just stupid. As an artist, stupid. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we do it like that. Um, I have I have another one I'm gonna do. I just wanted to do the humming version without using any words, really. Mm. 